of the psychological principle of ownership. And what it says is basically your effectiveness and your, com your ability to communicate your self-identity, those root motives create control. So your desire to be able to manipulate something so that you get a certain outcome, right? Your identity that you put into something, that creates a sense of control. That's the behavioral trait in this psychological model. Then you have your desire for your own identity, that, that, that community identity, self-identity that you're, that you're trying to communicate and a place that you dwell or some place that you stay or or psychologically where you're at those two things create this intimate knowledge of what's going on this is your awareness these are your inputs right this is your taste feel smell sight that's where you dwell right so those two things create this intimate knowledge of your surroundings and the place you dwell along with your simulation of where you want that creates your investment or yourself. These three behavioral pathways, control, immediate and intimate knowledge, and investment, these three things create ownership, psychological ownership, a feeling of openness, accessible, available, attractive, visible, and my ability to manipulate or control that environment or situation. Those things give me ownership in a property. 